Another homestand is in the books, and the Yankees won four out of five. They are now looking like one of the best teams in Major League Baseball. They do have the best record in baseball. Dodgers also looking really good out west. Angels looking really good. Mets looking really good. But the Yankees look like they could be favorites in the American League at this point. 9.6% chance to win the World Series, according to Baseball Reference. They're first in AO attendance. That's got to make Hal happy. They are second in the American League in home runs, fourth in runs, first in ERA. Obviously, pitching is very important. I think they have a chance to get even more home runs because we haven't really gotten anything out of Joey Gallo in left field. We haven't gotten any power out of shortstop with IKF, and we haven't gotten any power at all out of the catching position. So there's room for improvement there. Pretty good sign that the Yankees are still playing so well. The war leaders did not change over this homestand. Aaron Judge has solidified his lead with a 1.6 war, big walk-off home run. And then Nestor Cortez continues to pitch lights out, 1.2 war leads the staff. Up next, the Yankees have four games against the White Sox in Chicago and then four games against the Orioles in Baltimore. Before we get to the lineup and pitching for today's game, let's talk a little bit about those Chicago White Sox. I'd like to start this off with a Major League reference. What can you say about these White Sox except, at least, they're not from Canada? Tim Anderson, major player to watch this series. He's hitting 347 this year. He is one of the best and most consistent hitters in all of baseball. White Sox also have a lot of team speed. He's got five stolen bases. Luis Robert has six stolen bases. Andrew Vaughn having a good season with a 933 OPS and 12 ribbies so far. The White Sox have been projected by many to win the division, but so far they have a negative run differential. But as Jack Curry said on the postgame yesterday, we are less than one-fifth of the way through the season. But if the Yankees are able to shut down some of these White Sox bats and keep them at bay on the bases, they're still going to have to sort out some pretty good White Sox pitching. Dylan Cease has a 2.38 ERA. It's worth noting their game on Wednesday with the Guardians was postponed because of some positive tests among Guardians players. No word on the contact tracing and whether that affects the White Sox, so just be on alert that this series could be delayed. All right, we got the lineup for the series opener against the White Sox. Oddly, Claybert Torres has the night off after such a great weekend. DJ LeMahieu is leading off. He is at second base this evening. Aaron Judge back out there in right field. I still can't stop thinking about that home run he hit to walk off the Jays the other night. Anthony Rizzo is at first base. He's got nine home runs on the season, but the average has been falling. John Carlos Stanton is your DH tonight. Josh Donaldson in there at third base this evening. Aaron Hicks gets your start in center field. He needs to get going. Joey Gallo, he is my pick to click. More on that in just a minute. He's out there in left field. Marwin Gonzalez, switch hitter, gets the start at shortstop this evening. And Kyle Higashioka gets the start at catcher. He has worked with Luis Heal, tonight's starting pitcher, in the past. And on the mound, Luis, the real deal, Heal. One of my favorite pitchers to watch last season, and he was one of the bright spots in an otherwise disappointing year. He went 1-1 with a 3.07 ERA in 29 and a third innings pitched after being called up. His first three starts were scoreless. He had more than a strikeout per inning. You see 38 strikeouts, 19 walks. That was too many, and the whip was a little bit higher than you'd want, 1.330. Did not have good numbers in AAA this year, but he is the Yankees' number four overall prospect, according to Baseball America. Things to watch for with Luis Heels, obviously the command. That's been an issue for him in the past, but when he's throwing strikes, he's incredibly difficult to hit. Fastball can touch 98, 99 miles an hour. He likes to throw it up in the zone. You might see a good slider or two tonight, and it'll be interesting to see if he's mixing in a cutter as other members of the rotation have been. That would tell us they're working on that pitch throughout the minor leagues as well. All right, it's time to bring back Nostra Derek. So last series, we made a double prediction. Home run for Gallo in game one, that was a miss. And then a New York Yankees sweep, that was a hit. So that takes the batting average for the season to 478. Hey, I'll take it. 
In this series, I am doubling down on Joey Gallo. He hit two home runs in a game with the Yankees against the White Sox in Chicago last year. Maybe coming back brings back some good memories. He was feeling good yesterday, just missed a couple of home runs foul the other night. I think Joey Gallo is going deep tonight. And a reminder that if you go to prize picks and use the code NYYRECAPS, they are doing 100% deposit matching up to $100. It's a ton of fun. Daily Fantasy Sports has taken over the world, so why not join in? Prize picks, code NYYRECAPS, no spaces. Thank you to them for being the official sponsor of Nostra Derek. Hey, Derek, this is Jack. Wow, what a series against the Blue Jays. I am just thrilled with the way the Yankees are playing this year. We talk about the comparison to the 09 team and the 98 team and their hot start all the time. The Yankees look definitely, as always, to be buyers at the deadline, but what is there to buy? I know it's a little bit early, but do you maybe forego buying anything at the deadline to not interrupt the chemistry of the team? Uh, we can see the boys are getting real close, and I'm not sure how much more talent they can load onto this team. That's an interesting question. You know, there's no stat cast metric that measures team chemistry. You just have to look in the good old-fashioned win column. Right now, this team is winning against good teams. They're winning against bad teams. They're just flat-out winning. I think they can still get better, but the most likely scenario is that if they do bring somebody in, that it'll be somebody that we're not expecting. Last year, who could have expected Clay Holmes? That was a move where we traded kind of a mid-level prospect that didn't end up doing much, although he has made it to the major leagues, for a guy who was not a good relief pitcher but had great stuff, and he's turned into an elite relief pitcher, and it was almost immediate. My guess is that the Yankees would look to make another type of move like that. Andrew Haney, we saw, was picked up at the deadline last year. The Yankees tried to turn him around really quickly. It didn't work. He has since gone to the Dodgers, got off to a really hot start. So I think it'll be somebody like that. Look for somebody on a team that has a losing record and bad stats, but also really good metrics, according to StatCast. You asked for it, and you've got it. Voicemails have come to NYY Recaps. Make your voice heard. Better call in. The number is 718-899-1068. That's 718-Yogi-Judge-Scooter-Scooter. Dellen. Better call in. 